where we're staying here till this is uh, over and we get our freedom freedoms back and uh, and the country. 加拿大卡车司机嘅自由车队抗议活动已经持续咗两个星期。虽然首都渥太华宣布进入紧急状态，希望结束抗议，但系仍然有数百辆大卡车聚集喺渥太华，要求政府解除所有强制疫苗措施。前国家冰球联盟队员弗勒里认为呢个系一场变革。And the, you know what's happening is is more and more people are joining this.、Uh... Uh, this revolution that we're having in our country, and、uh, yeah, it's been great to watch, great to be a part of. You know, I haven't felt this much、uh, pride in my country since since I played in the Olympics in 2002. So this is great. 为咗让抗议者离开，渥太华警方逮捕咗好多人，禁止民众俾大家车送燃料。渥太华市政府话。聯繫咗所有有合同嘅拖車公司，但係都拒絕前去拖大卡車。弗勒里表示，咁樣可能係加拿大一百五十年嚟發生嘅最大事件，封鎖同強制接種疫苗，讓好多人失去工作。You know, people basically basically been locked in their houses for two years, and these truckers started this convoy, and then all of a sudden it was like、uh, it was like an Olympic year. Olympic hockey year, where you know everybody goes into their closet, grabs their jersey, grabs their red and white,、uh, you know, garb, grabs their flags, makes signs, and uh, you know, uh, as a grown man who's 53 years old, I tell you, I cried a lot of times just because of the the amazing energy、uh, with which this country has shown in the last, you know, probably two weeks. It's been incredible. 目前加拿大嘅自由车队抗议活动已经蔓延到全国主要大城市。星期二，加拿大到美国最繁忙嘅陆路口岸仍然关闭